Imagine taking in views of the Grand Canyon sunset. Now imagine that experience with a chair, better weather, and hardly any crowds. In this video, we're gonna give you the 10 things you need to know about visiting the North Rim of the Grand Canyon. Sometimes this is also called the Other Rim, and I might be tempted to call it the Better Rim. We're Matt and Cheryl from We're in the Rockies, and the whole purpose of our channel is to help people travel to the West and have an amazing trip. Number one, the North Rim is less crowded. Only 10% of visitors who visit the Grand Canyon go to the North Rim. There are way less people and it's an entirely different vibe. I would say the one word to describe the North Rim is chill. People are hanging outside the lodge, sitting down, enjoying a drink, and just really taking it in. And there are no shuttles at the North Rim. Without the shuttles at the North Rim, it makes it very simple. You just drive over, park your car, and go see it. Number two, it's not as hot. So the North Rim is actually higher than the South Rim. Both rims are actually quite high in elevation. I think the South Rim is about 7,000 feet, and the North Rim is about 8,000 feet elevation. It's more forested, it's greener, uh, the, wet, the daytime temperatures in the summer probably are typically around in the 80s, maybe even the low 80s. It's, uh, well, when we were there last time, it was, they were kind of going through a warm spell and it was still cooler on the North Rim than it was on the South Rim. It was just really, really nice weather. Number three. The North Rim is only open May 15th through October 15th. Along with what Matt just said, it's a shorter season because of the higher elevation and they do get a legit winter there. Mm -hmm. Okay, number four uh, from Las Vegas is four and a half hours to either the South Rim or the North Rim. And I was a little surprised to find this out. Now we, we come, we're coming from Utah, so this isn't our, our normal path there. So when I found out that it was the same from both rim, I was a little confused as to why the South Rim gets 90% visitors while the North Rim only gets 10% of the visitors. Part of that is the season, the longer season on the South Rim. Part of that is the South Rim kind of has more of the icon iconic views that you think of when you look at the canyon. Now, if you were gonna drive from the South Rim around to the North Rim, that is like a four hour drive in and of itself <laughs> going around there. So uh, to me, this is, a, this is just a great option to go from Las Vegas, same amount of time, Las Vegas. Number five. The Grand Canyon Lodge is awesome. It is really a beautiful building. Like they have the biggest windows to view it and an amazing dining room. Oh, when you walk in there, first thing you walk in the Grand, into the lodge, the only lodging, I guess, on the North Rim, you walk in there and those windows just frame in the beautiful views of the canyon. Yeah, it's, amazing. it's wonderful. And you don't stay inside the lodge. They have lots of little cabins around and that's where you stay. The lodge is the home to the dining room and some of the amenities. Then they have a counter service restaurant right there called Deli in the Pines that serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then they have their Rough Rider Saloon. Also at the Grand Canyon Lodge is a statue of Bridie the Donkey. We have a video up here all about the story of Bridie the Donkey. Matt did a great job explaining one of the iconic figures of the Grand Canyon and mm -hmm. just a little bit about talks a little bit about national parks in general you got to mm -hmm. check it out after this video okay number six the views are more colorful on the North Rim than they are in the South Rim so don't underestimate the North Rim it has a lot of I think it has a lot more red in the in the rocks on the North Rim and then there's there's more trees on the North Rim so there's more green green and red intermixed and as just uh, some suggestions here for viewpoints. So at the Grand Canyon Lodge, the lodge itself is a great viewpoint for the canyon. It really literally sits right on the edge. And then you can walk out about a quarter of a mile to Bright Angel Point. That would be the most popular point to see the canyon on the North Rim. You can also do a drive, a scenic drive, that is I think about 20, maybe 22 miles off if you go all the way out to the end of the road. But if you're gonna do that, our recommendation there is to do the Angel's Window. This is at Cape Royal. There's some other popular points like Point Imperial and 
Roosevelt Point, but uh, but our favorite was the Angel's Window. But it's just like this little fin that comes off with just sheer drops on both sides. Didn't you think that was incredible? Wait, you didn't do it. I was on my mule you ride. On... <laughs> <laughs> that point is amazing, uh, Angel's Window. So there's some suggestions for you. All right, if you're getting any value out of this video, we really would appreciate if you'd click that thumbs up button there. That helps us spread the video. If you want to get videos in your feed, click the subscribe. And if you want to get notifications on your phone when we post new videos, click that little bell there. And really, any support, we really do appreciate it. All right, number seven. Jacobs Lake is the gateway to the North Rim. You have to drive through this little town called Jacobs Lake, which surprisingly does not have a lake. Leave your bathing suit at home. <laughs> but um, when we were going there, Matt kept telling me that there is this great place to go get ice cream and cookies. That's what everybody told everyone, me. Like, everybody said, if you're going to the North Rim, you gotta go get ice cream and cookies at Jacob Lake. And so we pulled into this place that I thought looked like a gas station, but it was it was a Jacob's Lake Inn. Yep. And they had really amazing shakes of cookies. Okay, we got a s'more cookie. Okay, Cheryl, what was your favorite? The lemon zucchini. Yeah, we both tried the lemon zucchini and we loved it. It was super good. I also love the chocolate parfait. Jacob Lake has an inn. We know it has a campground because we stayed at the campground and it was a great campground. And I have to give thumbs up to the campground host. That is the only porta potty that I've ever had to smell good. So. Yeah, yeah Jacob Lake is a really kind of cool little place too. What we The other two things we saw there is Right by the place where you get the shakes, they have a forest service building. So there's a little visitor center there and you can learn some cool things about the area in that visitor center. And then also nearby there is the fire tower lookout, which we went over there and climbed to the top of. This was built way back in the 1930s and they still use it today to try to spot fires early on. And, and you can go climb it, which is kind of cool. It's a bit rickety, kind of an adventure, pretty fun. Okay, number eight is that the North Rim has a really nice variety of hikes. There's one main hike that goes into the Grand Canyon that is called the North Kaibab Trail. You can walk down there as far as you want and turn around, but, but you do need to be careful about hiking in the Grand Canyon, be prepared. The main turnaround point is Supai Tunnel, which is about a mile and a half down. So if you go down there and back, it's like a three mile round trip, which is pretty strenuous at the Grand Canyon. Uh, other, there are some other trails. Let me just give you a couple if you're interested in hiking. The Wid Force Trail has the most variety from what I heard. It's a little longer though. It's like four and a half miles one way. So you go out and you're kind of going along the rim of the canyon. So you get really great views, but then there's also a lot of forested views and stuff. And so out and back is about nine miles, eight or nine miles or something like that. We didn't do that because we have kids, but we did find Uncle Jim's cave near there. That was kind of a fun little excursion in a really pretty little meadow with these aspen trees and pine trees around there. And we got to climb up and go into the cave. Uncle Jim was the, the main supervisor, forest ranger over that whole area before it was made a national park. Teddy Roosevelt came to this area, the North Rim, and hunted mountain lions and he knew Uncle Jim. They went hunting together. Uncle Jim was really quite a quite a figure in Grand Canyon history. There's a couple of little hikes there at Cape Royal that you can do. There's the Cape Royal walk and hike that goes to Angel's Window and Cape Royal Lookout that I mentioned. And then there's another one called Cliff Springs, which kind of gets you down into a little a little small side canyon in uh, on that area. So those are some of the popular hikes. Okay. Number nine, they have mule rides at the North Rim. The mule rides are run completely by Canyon Trail Rides. They take such good care of you. We did one there. We did one at Bryce Canyon on our trip. I really like that company. Their Wranglers are very knowledgeable. You made it. Oh, this is something I've never seen. <laughs> Dude, you get your hands full. I enjoyed it. Spoiler alert, it was great. But they do offer a variety of rides. They have a one hour that just kind of goes through the forest and a little bit on the rim. They do one that does Uncle Jim's Trail, which is for people that are afraid of heights. And then their last one goes by the Supai Tunnel, which is for the more adventurous that want to go down into the rim. And the Uncle Jim's and the Supai Tunnel one are three hours long. Fantastic. 
Okay, uh, the, the number 10, the last thing here to know about the North Rim is that bison live there. So this was a little surprise to us. We were driving through a really pretty meadow as you, there were some bison there. And now bison are not native to the park and I don't think the National Park Service actually wants them around. <laughs> um, well, and it's, it's been interesting. You know, we've been in the national parks. We grew up going to them. We've been married almost 20 years and we hit national parks every year. And, and I always just thought the national parks are about preserving wildlife. But what they're really about is preserving the native wildlife. They're in a hard position. Because yep. we, yep, we all love the animals. When you have ones that aren't native, they, they eat the same food that the native ones do and it's just tricky. Yep, their job is to preserve the environment. Okay, I hope this video helped you out. Yes, and we are working so hard on preparing a guide for you to visit the Grand Canyon. It will cover the North and the South Rim. It's gonna have dining, food, how to get around, what sites to see, so many cool things. And it's at our website, we're on the Rockies.com. We have other guides to other places, so check that out. Also, audio tour included with that to tell you all about the park. Yeah, so thanks for watching.